Now, one shape we didn't cover was this S shape. Here uh, you can see the curved line in this design. This is the design we're talking about. And I think if I can bring it up closer to the camera, you can clearly see the S shape in it. So that it has that very, very strong S shape that goes like this in it. And it's made in two parts. There's an S shape in the back and there's an S shape in the front. So this has got this weaving S shape form on it. This one I'm going to render and clean up after and you'll see better. Another thing you can do is even if I were to accentuate this and uh, draw another section, I should sharpen my pencil a little bit. My pencil is dull. And if I were, I'd like to keep a center on this and possibly draw onto this. See the beauty of the tracing paper is that you can see through it. And if I were to do this kind of a thing, bringing this with an S shape like this and possibly bring another shape from there coming down like this then adding the stone at the bottom. Now if I add this element in here with the stone at the top, small stone there, maybe one small diamond right here and carry this through like this then it would take on a little more of a high fashion style a little bit more dramatic but still keeping it fairly simple and keeping the cost down but I think that this when you see this as opposed to the first one which was this one I'm going to fold the paper so you can see them close together if you see this one and you see this one one might be appealing more appealing to a, a person that likes a longer earring and so that would be one version and this would be the other version so you have two choices in this particular piece. Also, other things can be done with this. Uh, it's all in your imagination what you can see in your mind. Sometimes using the old mirrors that we did before uh, would give you a demonstration as well. Uh, if I had just this bottom section here and I made that with the ring with this S shape coming into it like this Make this just a little bit longer here. Add something at the top. Bring this in. Little diamond here. Then from here, maybe make something a little bit longer. And go like this. So you've got this kind of a feeling to it. Now this would get a little bit longer. And at the very top, perhaps adding a stone, a pear shape, some... Uh, to give it a little more of a dramatic feeling at the top like this and this would just flow into that like that and this would give you another feeling so every design one design leads to another design you never come to an end there's just no end to design and you can see how they got more and more dramatic as they got longer this I'm sure I can turn this into something quite dramatic in the end, add a few more stones, and I think that this would, could be a very good, good earring. So I will try to pursue this one as well. See? Okay.